we got 24 time zones, and we set up the world so that one time zone is preeminent among them all. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, who gets to do that? The Brits. Jesus, so like them. I must say, all these other inferior time zones, <laughs> we have to do something to make sure that we are the preeminent time zone. And they did. They kind of earned it. Oh, okay. Okay. They were the uh, holding Polynesian navigation aside for the moment. All right. Uh, of course, the brown people navigation. <laughs> Let's put that over here for a second. Uh, the Brits made it a very big deal uh -huh. to figure out how to navigate the world with high precision. True. Okay. Okay. Which aided. Wait the, a minute. The Dutch did that too, though. With, but Brits did it better with higher precision. All right. Okay. Now I'll give you Which that. is why the Brits, they well, got they, to claim that's why they got to, the, the yeah. sun never set on the British Empire. Well, well, of course, because you took everything over. But it also means the sun never rises on the British Empire. <laughs> there you go. One cannot be true without the other. Yeah, without the right, other, right. right. So they basically took over the world using their navigational, but part of how they did that was they built an observatory in Greenwich, England, that observed the passage of stars across its meridian. Mm -hmm. And it wrote down the time that that happens for every single star that cross. Okay. Right, I'm gonna say that's, it's kind of badass. It's badass, and that, that created a grid of time yeah. for the night sky. Absolutely. And it's called sidereal time.